Solana, one of the best known cryptocurrencies, one of the ones that is poised to make some gigantic moves in the coming bull market. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I'm super reluctant to buy in any Solana. So before I do that, let's look at some of the positives and some of the good stuff that's happening at the moment. As we know, Solana is one of the viable alternatives to Ethereum. Unlike Ethereum Classic, it's got its own blockchain that's not based on Ethereum. It's got really 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 low fees i mean look at that that's almost free and if you use ethereum or even ethereum classic you know that the fees are some of the reasons why people really hate that platform and of course it's got 21.9 minted nfts so that's a good number obviously for nfts ethereum is still king and of course all the other platforms as well have nfts on them now and it's got 11.5 million plus active accounts so it's a viable platform it's got a good number of people using it it's got a good number of developers and one of the good things that you look for is the amount of partners a project has and look at these brave circle discord google jump you know all of these are huge names meta stripe these are all massive names and they're working with solana so that's positive another thing is recently the project helium abandoned their own blockchain and didn't pick ethereum they picked Solana and they migrated to it. That IOT token has now surged 370%. That's quite decent, right? But of course, when things like this happen, we expect a lot of speculation, right? So that doesn't in itself mean anything, but it just shows that a project as solid as Helium, having done their due diligence, have picked Solana as a project to migrate to. Like if you look at the price, they're still down minus 91.28%. So that's a massive leg up that we still need to go to get to the all-time high we're looking at at least a 10x and possibly beyond so why am i not buying this amazing amazing crypto well it's very very simple in the past bull market solana was just as solid as it is now it had all the positives it was fast it was quote unquote decentralized it had really really low fees a lot of people believed in it a lot of the influencers were selling all the Ethereum and buying Solana. It made these massive moves. And just now and again, boom, it would go down, it shut down. It was just so centralized and the price would dump. And even after everything else dumped and all the other tokens started to make their way back up, blammo, Solana down again, all sorts of FUD too heavily invested in by FTX. We saw that happen a few months ago where it took a massive tank and then you had all sorts of speculations about people going to dump their Solana. It's just too many of these nitty gritty problems that I think that there are other tokens that are more solid than Solana. So it's actually really that simple. It's, it's experience. I lost quite a bit of money actually on Solana because I huddled it for so long and it just kept crashing and dumping when other cryptos were um, rallying. I know it's rallying right now, but what's not rallying? Bitcoin is rallying, Ethereum is rallying, Cardano's is rallying. And talking of which, Cardano compared to Solana, even though they've had all these problems and all this sort of slow growth, they're a lot more solid than Solana could ever be at the moment. Now, if you look at the um, ranking at the moment, of course, you have Bitcoin, that is number one. You have Ethereum, number two, Tether, that doesn't count as a stable coin, BNB, you have all the stable coins on count. Look at XRP, for heaven's sake, it's still number six after all these years of uncertainty. I've got to say, XRP hodlers, shout out to you guys. You guys are some of the baddest ass hodlers in the world i mean who hodls a coin for that long it's still number six that's just crazy and then you have cardano which has surged to number seven cardano at some point was actually behind polygon and solana but here it is at number seven so if you ask me what am i going to pick up with the money that was supposed to go to solana cardano why because the cardano people have demonstrated a really really solid platform okay it's not as exciting but like XRP, it's got some of the hardest score hodlers, people that believe in the project. And I think Cardano has a really, really good prospect in the next bull market. And it's not going to crash because some VCs invested in it and decided to dump half a million or half a billion's worth in just one day. So basically, it's just a gut feeling. I'm not your financial advisor. It's how I feel about it. No Solana for me this time. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.